this would have to be one bad case of mealy bug infestation. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Okay, I'm laughing, but I'm not happy. <laughs> but you just laugh off your misery. That's what I do. Anyway, look at that. Hey, I'm going to say gorgeous mealy bug. Well, they are very abundant. And anyway, I just... And look what it did to my string of hearts. I was supposed to take this outside. And look at the mealy bug. Oh, my goodness. I'm supposed to take this outside to expose this to the sun. But... One thing led to another. I'm just so busy that I kept forgetting. And where it was, I forgot to water it. And I just put, so, I mean, I just watered it last night and moved it and went to bed. And when I woke up this morning to check on them, I saw all these mealy bugs on it. Ah! Anyway, okay, it's not long anymore. Hang on. I chop, chop it. I cut it right straight off to where the least of the mealybug ends okay so i chop it all off just straight across and look at that it's all dried up and now it's soaking in here okay i'm just gonna take it out so i tie a little bit of wire on the end so that way i know that this whole thing uh, i can't I can't okay this is about i don't know two meters long so anyway well, this is now one and a half because I chop it off and then there's still mealybugs, see, in here, look. They're just infecting everything, but they're going to die soon because they're going to drown. So what I'm going to do is soak that because they do love water. So I'm going to, I'm going away, I'm going out <laughs> today, I'm not going away, I'm going out. So I will attend to that later on, that way it will give me time to kill all the mealybug that's in here. Just keep it wet. I forgot to show you what I'm going to do. Now this one, because of the mealybug, I'm going to do the same thing. So there's no point saving all that bit there, but I just want to put the mealybug away, put the mealybug away, and water this. Just really drown it. I would have sprayed it with my methyl, which I forgot to take, but I'll just water this first, really drown the pot. See, bubble, bubble, boil of trouble. Okay, now, so this one's now, give them a good wash. And mealybug is contained in here in the laundry. And if they try to get to my washing, my laundry, <laughs> they can have a little bit of a tumble <laughs> in the washing machine. And I just did a video of this uh, plant, but anyway, this is a different plant. Well, it did. It started uh, on the first part of the video. There you go. Hang on. Come on. Over here. They're going to try and escape, but now they're going to drown. I was not supposed to do this video, but anyway, someone commented about having their string of hearts killed by mealybugs. So this is one way, hang on, I should really tie them up together as well. So this is now over 24 hours later and I have soaked them and they have plump up a little bit so it's not as dry. I can feel some plumpness or juiciness inside the leaves but these poor things so anyway that one now I need to cut across like I did the other one and plant the whole thing in and no more mealybug I have inspected it and they're all dead now this one here hang on it says respect r-e-s-p-e-c-t look what mealybug has done to me R-E-S-P-E-C-T Millibug, 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 all gone. <laughs> but anyway, so this is really, really long and now I am ready to actually soak this whole thing in water. So I'm just going to get a tall glass like that sitting there with a dead plant because <laughs> I kept, I forgot to water that. I don't even know what that was. That was like 
I think something starts with an H. I'm not very good with <laughs> indoor plants. Something, I don't know, caladium. That's it. There was a caladium, the pretty one. Anyway, it, I forgot to water it because it's here. And this one was full of marbles before, so it's quite tall. Uh, the glass here. So I'm going to dunk all, well, sort of halfway and maybe secure it with something on top. So that way the string of hearts doesn't fall out. So I have to put that somewhere high up and start growing them under water with water or using water so anyway guys that's it so now it's showing signs of sort of rotting on the tip here the leaves so i'm gonna have to strip a whole lot of this so that the leaves doesn't rot so i'm just gonna expose the stem and dunk it in water like so and they are going to live but if they don't because it's such a long 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 plant so i might have to cut it halfway here and there's a lot of nodes in there so they can grow again so i'm going to end up with a one two three at least four bunch of string of hearts by next year i'm going to have all this string of hearts growing. So I'm going to have my balustrade all covered with string of hearts. 